Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, workers, resources, Soviet Republic, People's Proletarian, Petroleum Prefecture 169. Cheers! Ah, a small land. Nice one. Real nice one. For what it is. I think that this... This should be the final piece of the puzzle now to, to, to get this all operational again. And we have a little bit of a, a fuel shortage because we ran out of 1500 tons of fuel whilst, whilst we're doing this. Didn't quite anticipate that that would happen, but that happened. So far I don't think that it's causing any major <laughs> malfunctions. But the good thing is that this is uh, rolling and producing. So, so, maybe even, yeah, fuel is being sent down to there, which is excellent. It's just that it's not the way it's supposed to be, because we need to use the priorities here and set that straight. So, uh, the high priority should be that one. And then it doesn't really matter, right? Same goes for this one. If that ever gets used, then the high priority should be that one. So we prioritize our internal supply, first and foremost. Won't make any difference until this is done though, but it's halfway done. And if all things work out now as they're supposed to, turn it up to high speed again, so, so that we can get this done and see if this really is the final piece of the puzzle. And what we've missed <laughs> could be a few things. So if, if there is the final piece of the puzzle, this ought to start filling up with fuel here rather soon. And uh, when it does, I think that we'll see quite an on onslaught of vehicles arriving here to load. 96%, 98%, 99 100%. Yes, fuel is being pumped into there. Fantastic. And already the, they are coming from all around. Technical services, you're bringing fuel to, you're bringing fuel to beer distribution, that's very important. You're bringing fuel to the train diesel station. Oh, did they run out? I don't know if I dare look. Uh, <laughs> I will be down here somewhere, there. I hope they have not run out. Ah, we have large buffers in the system. Uh, yes, so, so it sort of works, I think. This is getting refilled with bitumen, great. This is getting refilled with, with oil, that's also great. That means I have, wait, here. Uh, as a little side side note, side step thing uh, here. Uh, okay, there are the distribution offices taking care of this, and there is also a line taking care of it because you you currently load your your oil from a pipe pumping station. That one, yeah, that'll work. But uh, here will be a, a much more fitting place to, to get the fuel. Yes. Also this small distribution office number five, since you're also involved with this Sakoi oil fuel storage. There, I suppose you load bitumen there. Oil storage with loader. There you try and get oil. That's not going to work. Now we change that around. You, you get your oil from. It's already assigned, you say. Sakoi oil fuel loading and unloading. What? Where's that then? Uh, Sakoi forwarding pump. We can remove that. Oil fuel and unloading. You get, uh, ah, you can get bitumen here too if you like. I suppose you can get everything from from there. 
And you, where do you get your fuel? Uh, you, you get that one you don't need. Uh, and uh, this one you don't need. And this one you don't need. And uh, this one you don't need. Neither all of those can be replaced with with this one. Yes. So I think it is working actually. Uh, this is full of bitumen. This is getting slowly but surely refilled with fuel. Actually, quite slowly, but we're running. We're running at a hundred percent. At the oil refinery, should we have a look at the priorities just to make sure that they're right? It comes out of here. Um, the high is that one that goes on to here and. That is split up for some reason. Now oh, this gets a bit tangled up. Yeah, it goes. It goes down to the bitumen thing, and it goes uh, here around the circles into this one, which in turn <laughs> takes it a. What? Nah, it is working fine. The most important bit is is that, that we prioritize it coming out of the oil refinery, and the rest they can sort of model through. The source is not sending resource. Are you sure? I mean the raw petroleum. Raw petroleum. Yeah, you should be sending medium up ahead here into this one. Low goes into there. That we could just turn that up a bit. Or you don't have well, what? I think we, we might be lacking. No, and then it goes into this one. Now oh, here we need to use priorities as well. And set. Yeah, that low. For the harbor, medium for the second oil refinery, and high for the primary oil refinery. Yes, that might do it. Yeah, and you're transporting a bit of oil, but where <laughs> tanker is uh, is not here. So where does it go? <laughs> uh, <coughs> I don't know. Quite. If you're sending a one ton of oil per second down this pipe, then where does that go currently? It goes along here, it goes into here, or it splits it up into bitumen, fuel, and oil, and oil goes into there. Nothing is being pumped. Hmm. I'm not sure that that's, make, that's making sense. It could also be a bit messed up that, that it says oil, but it is in fact transporting bitumen and or fuel and or a concoc concoction thereof. It is a bit strange that you can multiplex these liquids in such a fashion. Although very handy, practical, not very realistic, it would be very... You basically need a refinery at this end too, to separate things out again. Bitumen is being filled. Uh, this will not, probably not be filled until we have filled the internal storage, which is this one. You did not go to the loading place. There's a small distribution office here that uses the wrong place to load. Uh, oil fuel storage. You try and get your bitumen from there, you don't. And you try and get your fuel from there, don't. You load anywhere else. Heliport cargo platform. What? Heliport cargo platform. I think that you're supposed to unload here, if anything. 
Yes, that's about it. And then we just need to set it to load at the correct place. Yeah, I'm a bit all over the place here with, with the camera work. And it's ja <laughs> janky. Load all the things. What are you doing loading here? Um, okay, this is uh, also incorrect. You, you go here too. Load oil. Not even know, not quite sure where it is you're going. I think that this is by the old chemical plant. Yep, it is. Right then. So to summarize, the reorganization of of the flow of the, the petroleum, it's um, it, it's working about as well as it did before. P -p perhaps a little bit better. It is. I couldn't really say that it is less messy. Slightly less messy, maybe. <laughs> we could do. We have the asphalt plant over here. We could have a pipe pipeline going over to it really uh, it's not necessary but we could do we have a free hook up here and we have a free hook up there that's sort of in the wrong the wrong place that's not going to comply is it I can pump it into okay it's going to work yeah then we'll do it And uh, we can get rid of this. Not even necessary anymore. Goodbye. Thank you so very much for your service. You have been... I think basically all asphalt that has been laid has been transported by you at some point. The bitumen for it, that is. Mm. Okay. Now, when... Yeah, the, fur the further scheme is to, of course, extract more oil. And when we get to that point, I wonder if, if it would be prudent to, to get this second oil refinery up and running, or if we'll leave it as one oil refinery uh, and just sell the ex excess uh, raw petroleum as is. To maximize uh, money, we, we'd want the second oil refinery but then, this is the sort of the infrastructure that we have to get workers in here. That might not be enough. Hmm. Yeah, but we could build more towns. We could... <coughs> you don't want to build more towns here. This uh, place is uh, way too crowded as it is. Hmm. As it is. Okay. This is working great. Maybe. We do resource uh, overlay, see how things are going. Uh, resource fuel, for example. Yeah, they seem to have fuel all, all over the place. 750 tons in the tank, so it's about 50% full. Very good. Ah, you're building, yeah, you're building the pipe right. Good, 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 good. And uh, the bitumen. Yeah, we have bitumen over there. We have bitumen by the asphalt plants. We have bitumen there. Now we also have bitumen for the heating plant there. Oh, so we'll plenty. Say so if we do, do, do within one kilometer here off the camera, we have four and a half thousand tons of bitumen. Fifteen hundred tons of fuel. Five and a half thousand tons of oil. That's good. I think this... They, they send a train every so often to, to go and sell it. Which is also very good. Um, the, uh, the ship is out. I think it might actually be, be selling, selling the oil at this very moment. Yes, it is. And a bitumen train is out? Did we send a train? Did we go and have a look at the border?
Yes, we have a bitumen train here. Fantastic. We're back into production. At 100% at the oil refinery. Very good. Very, very good. It looks, as I said, just as messy as, as it did before, but it makes more sense now, sort of. It is more functional and manageable. I wouldn't say that it's more easily managed, but, <laughs> but slightly more manageable anyway. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, so we'll, uh, we have five more minutes to go. I'll hint a bit about what's coming in future. Because if we go out here, you see, I have prepared a bit of things. I have a new construction yard, construction center, where we have gravel, we have uh, materials. We don't have asphalt plant, of course, and concrete plant, but I have a special, uh, a special construction office group, which are these two construction offices here those and uh, this one which is only buses I placed real close to Utopia to the bus platform in Utopia so the bus will only have to go pick up workers and then go go out to wherever it is it goes and uh, we also have this distance uh, asphalt and concrete so the idea is uh, that we'll bring concrete and asphalt from here but we'll start the journey right by the source that we want, uh, such as asphalt, concrete and workers, rather than having the bus out at the construction office and, and, it start, and it has to start by driving all the way into town to fetch people and so on. And uh, the proof of concept has already been tried. We have laid in this road. It has worked. There is an oil field here. Mm, if we do get the pump jack out, we can see. Yeah, there's plenty of oil here. Plenty. There is a bit of oil here. And if we want to, to, to grab everything, then we need to grab everything, right? This is also going to need a little bit of terrain manipulation, which is why I have also prepared a few construction offices along the way. Uh, hmm, hmm. And here? Here there is also oil, I think, to... to to extract. Yes, there is. Much of it, is, of it is, is hidden under the water, and since there isn't an official on offshore oil pumping facility, uh, and there's, there's mud, but it, as far as I've been able to ascertain from the comments on it and so on, it is a bit wonky if it works or not. So, what I'm going to do is uh, manipulate the terrain in such a fashion that we can get this in. And over here, out here, there's even more oil to extract. So we need to build roads, we need to build pipelines, we need to build... And here, 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 there's plenty of oil too. And even down here at the coal mining town, it's the oil field stretches all the way down to here. And that's what's next. At some point, I think before, we've actually exploited all of these resources, uh, we will reach the maximum capacity of a single pipeline, which is uh, 10 tons of oil per second. And if we look at, if we take, yes, we take an oil pumping station that is close to two to things, not just this one. It's currently at Five, four, five, six, eight, four, five. Uh, say that it is operating at about 60% capacity. Mm, 50. Yeah, so there's plenty more that we could uh, could get out of this. And I intend to. God damn it, I intend to. So that's what we have to look forward to. Um, further oil exploitation. What else is there to do in the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture, after all? And this, when this is done, we will have excellent bitumen supply for, for the asphalt plant. Uh, we will only get bitumen from the primary refinery, but that's...
completely acceptable. Yes. I think we'll head out there because this is uh, this is working now, right? I'm a bit a bit on the fence about it if it actually works or not, but I think it does. That was not a lot of workers that you had on that bus. Uh, no good. Do we not have workers standing around in, in, in Utopia? Not enough. We might have uh, one bus or two too many on this. But the thing is, this is yeah, this is the, the electronics complex again. The uh, thing is that they're not leaving with workers, so all of them actually get utilized in here in some way, fashion or other. And you're still not uh, building up on the plastics very much. No. Yes, that's it. What's this train doing? It has been selling... Uh, Bitumen. Yeah, it was the one that we were looking at at the border. Okay. Yes. Out here it is quiet. Go in the right direction. Here. Yes. There is an oil field. There is a little oil field down here. There is a lot more oil right over there. And even more further down that way that's going to require roads electricity pipes all sorts of business but these these could be well prepared to handle it we almost even have a full uh, large aggregate storage filled with gravel for them now we have mechanical components, electrical components, we have steel, we have bricks, we have boards, we have all the things we could want, really. So that's it for 169. Thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on with oil exploitation. Good night.